Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle news update. This just in from the Olympia LLC. They made a rule change for next year, leading into 2024 Olympia. Only the top three spots in all the Olympia divisions will qualify for next year's Olympia competitions. So in the Mr. Olympia, whoever finishes the top three automatically qualifies for next year's Olympia, whereas in the past, it's been the top five. What that does is it basically makes more people have to re-qualify in the coming year for next year's Olympia, which should potentially increase the competitive aspect of these shows that we see throughout the year. Because, you know, as we know, a lot of these shows are not competitive. We're not seeing the top guys in the sport competing during the year. They're kind of saving it up for the Olympia, or they might do the Arnold and then we don't see them again. Now it's going to make it so that they have to requalify. And to requalify, you have to actually win a competition. To win a competition, there's only so many competitions out there. You're going to have to really put yourself out there a lot more. You can't wait till the last minute where there's two shows left and then there's five guys that need to qualify because three of those guys won't be on the Olympia stage if that's the case. So I think it's, good. I think it's a good move. Um, a lot of people have suggested that only the Mr. Olympia requalify and that everyone else has to requalify. I mean, that might be a future way they do it. I don't know. But for now, it's, it's going to be top three. Jake Wood put out this notification, the owner of the Mr. Olympia brand. He said he consulted with the IFBB Pro League, which is Jim Mannion, obviously. And they're both in agreement with the fact that top three now will be qualification spots for next year's 2024 Olympia. And that's going to take place in the Open, the 212 Classic, you know, men's physique and all the women's uh, divisions. And once again, it's going to just make you know, the competition that much better. Now, granted, in the women's divisions, those women tend to compete a lot more than the men do, even at the top echelon of the sport. So it's really not as relevant. But for the men's divisions, where a lot of these guys like to wait a whole year and try to hit the Olympia, you know, and, and, and do their thing, now they're going to be forced to actually have to compete again. And, and, you know, like I said, I don't think it's a necessarily a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. It's going to make these regional shows more exciting the New York Pro, the Tampa, you know, some of the smaller shows that we see, the Cal Pro, where we're not getting the level of competition because every one of those pro open events is a qualification spot for the Olympia. Okay, you don't have to win the Arnold Classic to, to, to qualify for the Olympia. You could win, you know, the Legion Sports Fest. You know, it doesn't matter. They're all equal. So if you win a pro show, you qualify for the Olympia. It's that simple. However, it seems like a lot of people save it up toward the end. And we've talked about this before on Heavy Muscle Radio. We've had iron debates about this. Why aren't we seeing more guys spread their competitive you know, calendar out a little bit more? Now, in defense of the competitors, a lot of these guys want to give themselves enough time to make improvements. Well, they want to give themselves time after the Olympia to clean out and not have to immediately jump back on stage. And a lot of these guys last year did the Arnold Classic. Why'd they do that? Because Arnold put up 300,000 for first place. The problem is only one person wins the show, Samson Dowda. Everyone else has still got to qualify. So this is you know, something moving forward that's gonna change the strategy of competitors and align themselves with how am I going to get on that Olympia stage for next year. Now, if you're top three, it doesn't matter. But if you're not, now you have to start evaluating, I have to get on stage at some point, and I have to do a show that I'm capable of winning. Not placing top three, but winning. There's no point system anymore. Back in the day, it used to be top three at, at most shows, and then the Arnold was top five. They don't have that anymore. You have to win a show. And that goes for all the divisions. So once again, I like when they make changes like this because it gets more exciting. Like I said, I wouldn't have a problem if they made everyone requalify except the Mr. Olympia. Now, uh, a proviso to this is if you have won the Olympia before, you're automatically qualified for life. So, like Brandon Curry never has to requalify for the Olympia. Same thing with Big Ramy. Ramy doesn't have to requalify for the Olympia. He can jump in anytime he wants and do the Olympia. If Dexter made a comeback, he doesn't need to requalify. He, you know, he's automatically requalified for life. So. These are, you know, exceptions to the rule, which everyone acknowledges as being, you know, obviously, if you could win an Olympia title, you deserve that. 
You know, let us know in the comments below what you guys think about this new qualification system. And if you think we should have less qualifying spots at the Olympia or more, and let us know why in the comments below. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.